Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is how to make an upstairs level for your guinea pig's cage. And here's the same exact cage I have. This one's just their other one that I showed you in um, another video. I don't know which one. But, oh yeah, it's a new um, guinea pig cage tour. So if you guys go through all my videos and search for that one or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is just the same exact cage. And those are all the stuff that you need to use for to build the top level. So I will talk you guys through that. So what you will need is a small little piece of fleece. This is how big mine is. It's just that big. So maybe that big piece of fleece. Some of these pipe cleaners, they're just wire with fuzz around them, or you can use regular str regular string or just whatever you want. Something that can hold things up. So yeah, these are called pipe cleaners. You will need some scotch tape, um, see-through clear tape, or brown tape. Some scissors. One of these screwdrivers with the flat heads, a wrench, um, cardboard, enough cardboard that will, will ramp. And if you don't have this ramp, that because some cages don't, some of these cages don't come with those ramps, but you need this ramp to make the top level, so I don't know what else you could use. So enough cardboard to go around the whole entire length of this. And this cardboard is a little bit short, so I have two pieces. And you want them tall enough so your guinea pigs won't jump over them. So I might trim mine down to there since that's really tall. Right there, maybe. So you need pieces of cardboard. Um, two or three towels um, so you can change out the towels. Um, each time you wash one, you can still have the upstairs level. Two pieces of big fleeces that will cover the whole entire area right there. And that's it. So first you want to take off the cover to your ramp. Just so it looks like that. And you can put this aside, but you will need it later. So now you should only have your ramp. Next you're going to take off the cover that is blue right under here just with these velcros. Just slide it out and put that aside too. You will, I don't think you'll need this later, but keep it just in case. Now you're going to lay your ramp down with a hook on this side. So right there, you want the thicker piece right here and the skinnier piece right there. And on the hooks on this piece right here that flips over those hooks, you're going to take your screwdriver, you're going to go under it, and you're going to unhook it so this ramp comes off. Alrighty, so now you should have the thick part still laying on that side and the skinny part still there, but the ramp is going down towards that way, and then you should have the other ramp taken off with those clips that I took off with this. So you should have that. Now you're going to lean um, your ramp against um, the cage with the ramp that's connected just laying down. You're going to take your other ramp, you're going to fit it underneath it, and you're going to see how long you want your ramp so it reaches the bottom of the cage. So, see these little bars right here? You want one, two, three, four, five, five or six. So I'm going to connect it on five or six. And you might need to still ad adjust it since it won't reach perfectly. So, put it on six. You might need to shove it in there. So it will fit. And then, 
to secure that. So it should look like these wires from this ramp, not the one right here, so there should be two ramps, and the wire from this ramp should be over here and over here. Now you're going to take your wrench and you are going to tighten these up. So you can see these clips that are still open right there. You want to take your wrench and you're going to tighten them up. So just make sure it's all the way on. Just going to squeeze them and tighten it. So it won't come off because if your guinea pigs are on here and it just comes right off, then they will fall off the ramp. Just going to tighten that up. Okay, so we are, so what I'm saying is just make sure that the ramps together, whoop, like they can bend still, but make sure that they cannot come off like of each other at all. So they're connected. So now the ramp should go right in and I'll show you how to connect that. So first of all you're going to take your string or pipe cleaner or whatever you have and you're going to take the ramp so it goes like that and there's a hole and this little piece right there in the skinny part. You lift it up the height that you want maybe a little bit higher than where this line is and you're going to tie it with your string from under it from under it and a top okay so now that you have your string like I do on one side I just tied it like that and the ramp may look a little bit steep but it's not your guinea pigs could climb on anything but if it is then you could just readjust how tight how high that is but you don't want it so low that your guinea pigs back will hit this so yeah, and now you're just going to take the rest of your thing, you have your pipe cleaners or whatever, and you're going to tie it all around because you don't want it to come loose. And then you can, while you're doing it, you can put pressure, pressure on it to see how much it holds. So yeah, just put more string around it. And if you don't have string and you only have like fleece, then I would take out a, your fleece and your scissors and cut the thinnest little piece off of your fleece and then it stretches and you can tie with it so the skinnier it goes um, the stretchier it will get and fleece is pretty strong too so it can hold a lot of stuff so that's what you can use with a small fleece so just as an example fleece can stretch very long and it's really strong, so you could trust it. Even though it looks like a little piece of string, that's basically what you're using if you're using a piece of string anyways also. It's just, or it might be a little stronger because it's rope, but it's really strong, so I would suggest fleece also. You can also just stretch out at the end. And you could cut it depending how long you need your fleece or string. So yeah, that's what you can use a small fleece for. You also want to make sure that the back of your ramp is touching the back of the cage or else it can slip through the back if it's not. Now that you finished tying it up, I did mostly fleece just to show you guys that it is really strong. And I just put it in, uh, under the igloos. You don't have to have in any igloos if you don't want. It could just, they could just run under there but sometimes I like to prefer igloos, so yeah. I used a bunch of fleeces, and I used two um, pipe cleaners. So you should have it stable by now. It's okay if it bends in a little, that's fine. Just make it really stable. Okay, so now take a cardboard to make sure it's exactly lined up, and then duct tape them together, or if it's already exactly the same, then just skip the step but just tape the pieces together. Okay, now once that's done, you're gonna put one hole up on the edge, another one at the bottom, another one at the top, and another at the bottom, so four um, holes in total. 
and once you punched the four holes in, they don't need to be that big, just line your cardboard up and you're going to take um, fleece during your pipe cleaners for each one, pull it through the hole and tie it to the edge of the cage so the wall can't come off. Okay, so once you finish, you can drape a towel, towel over the top of your cardboard that you just hooked on. So I just draped a navy blue towel over the top. There's a cardboard. And yeah, so you can just drape a towel over it so they won't chew on the cardboard. Next, you're going to lay the piece that went across the ramp. You're going to lay that down and you're going to secure it. So it covers this part too. And then you're going to lay down another piece of fleece so their feet don't fall through. And this is an absorbent layer. So they can pee on this if they want. And then this is all fleece and they can't go through. So it looks like that. Last but not least, you're going to add this to the ramp. So yeah, and that's it. So, you don't need to worry about that part since they most likely wouldn't stand over there, but if you want, you could just drape over another little piece of fleece. And now they can climb under there and hide under there. Or you could put in igloos. And sorry, I don't have the fleece down yet. It's just washing. So yeah, that's it. And I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys make this upstairs level too. Bye!